Our movement is a voluntary movement. How far can we push people? As far as they agree to go, I guess. But for, for ashrams, there have to be standards. And people, uh, they should be aware of the standards. And they should know that if you want to join, this is the standard. And even for initiation, they may not be living in Asha. Initiation doesn't mean that chant 16 rounds, follow more or less four regulated principles and just do whatever you like. There have to be standards also. People should know that for those who are not living in ashrams. Otherwise, what's the point? How, where, where's the benefit in that? Otherwise, there are so many people giving initiation here. It's here in Andhra Pradesh. So many people are, are initiated into Vaishnavism by the Chinna Jiya Swami. Because he has no standards, actually. I think uh, probably all the people initiated by him are vegetarians. And they have, uh, although I don't think he demands that of anyone. Uh, and they have a general idea of Vishnu Bhakti, but there's no process to purify them. So you could say, well, they're better off in as much as they're not gross demons and they have some idea of Vishnu Bhakti. So, all right, that's good, but it, it's not... Diksha means Atma Samarpan. But without that, then there's no real meaning to initiation. One has a general idea that I'm a Vaishnav. Okay, but what does it mean to have a guru? Guru means to come under under the discipline of the guru and, and accept that discipline in one's life. Otherwise it becomes like some social of social affair. So I'm not saying that what he's doing is all bogus or anything like that. It's good. Let them, let them identify with Vaishnavism. But it's not, it's not going to carry them back to Godhead. There has to be some purification process and dedication. It has to be Atma Samarpan. Prapati, as is said. It's the usual term in the... Sri Vaishnav Sampradaya. Of course, they have different ideas about that also, about what that means. <laughs>